what a piece. Old Lang Syne. And so, as you see, the hand is in the position for B flat major, so you're in extension the whole time. I want to bring your attention to the part, <laughs> to this right here. I remove my thumb sometimes to really get that extension nice and solid because the, when you remove your thumb, your hand is able to relax more if you keep it on the back of the neck. And just make sure when you do that, you're very aware of the spacing. That's to maximize your hand. If you don't have a big hand, that can just wrap around the cello. Maybe another lifetime you will, but for this one, at least me, I, I don't. So extend that hand out nice and keep that thumb released if you want to get a full extension. Because in first position extended back to low one, that is the biggest the hand will ever be on the cello. Besides that, it's simply all here in the position. Follow the bowing in the third measure. It's a, it's a double down bow. So it's a down, down, up in those two E flats. So there's that. And let's look at measure 12. You see a shift up slide up so you're here in measure 11 slide up your one to where the c is relax your hand drop your four on that e flat and then shift back to your low one repeat at the end because there's many verses to this. Now I do have an easier version of this in F major which I will link in the description below but besides that it's a wonderful piece to work on your intonation in B flat major. I hope you liked it. Please stick around because at work we will always continue to learn a lot.